When I woke up this morning, I had been uh, dreaming and uh, talking to somebody about flying lead changes. So I thought, hey, I better talk to you about that. So I'm not going to talk about how to get your horse to do flying lead changes. There's been volumes written on that. So suffice it to say that uh, for the horse, the flying lead change is simply a canter departure from the canter. So they have to be able to easily go into canter from on, on either lead. But our body tends to make that a problem for them. So if you're not sure what a leading leg is, picture a child playing a uh, horsey <laughs> without a horse. And they skip along with one leg leading and... Um, Sometimes they do flying lead changes. They'll be skipping along and they're changing their leading leg every stride. So a horse has a leading leg that's very noticeable in front, but they also have one in the back on the exact same side. And it's important that um, anytime that you go to turn, that the leading legs are both on the inside of the horse, and sometimes they're not. And that can be because of the way that we're sitting on them. So one of the things that you can do to help is learn to feel what lead that they're on. So with your eyes closed, you'll feel that they've put your inside leg and foot uh, further ahead than the outside, just like that child that's skipping. And you may notice that going one direction um, feels a lot easier than when you go the other direction. And that's because we're not even in our bodies. So one of the things that you can do to help even that up is use a hula hoop and practice being able to hula hoop it to the right or to the left just as easily. Uh, you're going to find that you naturally want to start one way and that you find the other way more difficult. Another thing that I've noticed is that I used to sit on an exercise ball when I would be working at the computer and we had a hardwood floor so I had lines drawn on it and I happened to lean forward to look down and pick something up and realized that even though I had lined myself up with the TV and my feet should have been evenly placed um, along one of the board lines, they weren't. One was more ahead than the other. So I was sitting crooked. And you can test this right now, actually. You don't have to have a, an exercise ball or a hardwood floor. If you Pick a wall, stand about, I don't know, eight feet away from it, and walk towards the wall. You'll notice that as you're walking, if you focus on your hips, that the um, your one hip, your right hip will go forward with the right foot, then your left hip will go forward with your left foot. And when you stop, try and stop with your hips an even distance away from the wall. Now look down at your feet. Are your feet also an even distance away from the wall? And... Are your shoulders an even distance away from the wall? And does your belly button point at the wall with each of your feet an equal distance to the left and right of it? Or do you need to align any body parts to make that true? And you'll find that if your, say, your left foot is uh, closer to the wall than your right, or your belly button is off to the right, horse probably takes the left lead easier than the right lead. So give those a, a try. Let me know what you notice and how the hula hooping goes.